Here, here at five, police shoot and kill a man following a pursuit that ended in a violent crash in Pasadena. That crash was also caught on camera. NBC4's Karma Dickerson joins us live from Pasadena with the latest developments here. Karma. The beginning of the end of that pursuit happened right here in a Pasadena man's front yard. You can see what's left of his hedges and you can see what's left of his car. And it turns out his cameras did capture at least part of what unfolded in his front yard. We'll show you that video. It was about 845 last night and you see a pickup plow through a yard here on Arden Road in Pasadena. Now, according to police, officers had approached this driver a short time before when he was parked facing the wrong way on a one way street. But the driver eventually took off, crashing into this yard here. Now, the footage shows the driver get out of the car. He appears to get back in, but the footage cuts off before the driver takes off on foot. By the time officers are approaching with guns, the man had taken off. Meanwhile, the homeowner was inside listening to all of this unfold. Then I heard some tire screeching, and the screeching got really loud. Um, and then I heard this terrible terrible bang in my front yard. There was an officer with a canine unit immediately who had been apparently following the truck. Um, and then shortly thereafter, a bunch of officers approached with shotguns and surrounded the vehicle. But at that time, the, uh, the driver had already fled. Police did find the man about a five minute walk away and he was in a different backyard, this time on Oak Knoll Circle. They say he forced his way into two homes before they caught up with him. According to police, the man pulled out a gun and refused to drop it. Police shot the man and he was pronounced dead at the hospital. And passing the police have identified the man as Ricardo Andrade. He's a 36 year old who lives in San Fernando. Reporting live from Pasadena, I'm Karma Dickerson, NBC4 News.